Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I finally had a chance to play with more of the Pat McGrath makeup products today and let's go over the foundation first. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation and I have it in shade light medium 14 and I think this matches me perfectly. First of all, this foundation has a very runny texture it is definitely the most watery foundation that I have in my collection but I am not mad at it because I love the feel and the coverage that this foundation gives me today. I am just surprised by how flawless my skin looks like using this foundation. I am just amazed by the coverage that this gives. So I'm going to read what's on the box for you guys. So this is a buildable perfecting coverage, weightless texture, sublime satin finish, and this is supposedly runway tested and mother approved, uh, universal formula for all skin types, oil free, paraben free, and fragrance free. And I can agree with most of these things that are labeled on this luxurious looking box. This is the cutest box for the foundation bottle ever. It is just well thought out for her makeup line in general. So I used the Sigma Kabuki brush to apply this uh, product on. I feel like with the sponge, I don't know if it will apply the same, but with the brush, it did a great job at um, buffing the product into my face. And I think the finish was really, really beautiful. And I noticed that this gives a very nice medium to full coverage. If you guys are looking for a very nice and weightless foundation, I will recommend this Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. But this is a very, very pricey foundation. A lot of people are not happy with the fact that this foundation is supposed to be for an everyday wear sort of thing but i really appreciate it because if i'm paying that much money for a foundation i'd rather use it every single day and get my money's worth out of this you know if that makes any sense but i am really happy that i decided to purchase this foundation because i'm not disappointed at all in fact i am in love with it and that's gonna be a problem for my wallet but i don't typically wear foundation in my daily makeup routine anyway so um, I think this might last me for, I want to say about two years, but I love this foundation. I highly, highly recommend it. So let's move on to the concealer. Concealer just like the foundation. It has a very nice home. This is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. And this claims that it is weightless, full coverage, high performance, also runway tested, and mother approved. This is a perfect concealer to hide my blemishes. It hit them really, really nicely. I have some acne spots and it definitely hit them for me. I wish I had gotten a lighter shade than this. I really like that extra brightening effect on my under eyes, but I might pick up another lighter shade in the future. I really love this concealer as well. It just like it claims it feels very nice and weightless and it blended out so seamlessly into my skin that I am just shook. I'm just shook by both of these products. I'm like in love right now. So let's now go over the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. Um, this is called the Blur and Under Eye Powder. I initially thought that this was going to be a larger compact, so I didn't watch any YouTube reviews on this particular product, and I'm not regretting it. I really love how the powder feels underneath my eyes today. It just looks really, really good on the skin, especially my under eye area. I have like some wrinkles and stuff, but um, it just kind of blurred that area out and I'm just amazed by this powder and I have it in shade yellow and oh my gosh, this feels really, 
really silky and smooth I'm just <laughs> again surprised by how much I really like this I feel like if I use this every day it will be gone in like a couple of months and I'm telling you I will use this right up I don't know if I want to recommend this product to you guys because this is a very small compact and I feel like you can find better setting powders I think but I had fun testing this product out. So I finally decided to pick up more things from her Divine Robes collection and I got the um, Eternal Eden Quad from the Divine Robes line. And I am pretty surprised with how much I love this quad. I'm not a pinky kind of person, but lately I've been testing out with a lot of colors on my channel and I am pretty happy with this eyeshadow quad actually. It is a very nice quad to play with, um, to create romantic looks with this. This is really beautiful. Let's go over all of these shades first and then I'll guide you guys through on the process of my eye makeup look today. So the Divine Rose Luxe Eternal Eden Quad comes with gorgeous pinky shades and the first one is called Pink Mystic. This is described as a light pink with a shimmering gold finish and it definitely has a lot of gold in it. I love this shade for the inner corner especially or as a highlighter. I didn't do any kind of crazy highlight on my brow bows but I can use this as a highlighter if I wanted to. This is a gorgeous shade. I love pinky pearlescent shades like this. So going from left to right, the second shade is called Temptation and this is a muted matte magenta. And oh my god, oh my gosh, this color is like this, scares the heck out of me. So I used it as a blush and I love it as a blush. I think on the eyes, it might look a little bit crazy, but as a blush, this is a great one to have. I honestly love pink eyeshadows for that reason, that with the fact that I can use them as a blush, it's just amazing i love this color this shade is called earthly delight and it is described as a mid-tone cool brown matte and i love shades like this as well i think this is great to um, define your crease and also to help smoke out any sort of eye makeup look this is a perfect shade for that i honestly didn't Think much of this shade but having a chance to play with it I am in love with it so going down from this uh, matte magenta color the bottom one it's called forbidden fruit it's described as rich pink bronze metallic and this is the shade that I have all over my lids today and this is by far my most favorite shade from this quad because I love shimmery pinky moves like this it's just so gorgeous on the lids and i am obsessed with this color now that's basically the gist of this palette so let's go over how i have achieved my eye makeup look today i kept it really really simple so the first transition and crease shade that i decided to place down is called earthly delight i love how smoky this taupey brown is on my lids it's just so so gorgeous and then I started to use Forbidden Fruit all over my lids. I didn't wet my brush today, but if you wet your brush, this color will pop like crazy. This is a gorgeous color. And then for my inner tear duct, I went in with Pink Mystic. This beautiful light pinky shade. I am obsessed with this color. So that's that for my whole entire eye makeup look. I'm telling you, it's really, really simple. And then to complete the entire makeup look, I went in with lashes and some mascara and that's pretty much it for my eye look. So as I have mentioned, I used Temptation for my blush today and I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this blush color because I feel like it really helps tie in the whole entire look together. It is just gorgeous. So I'm using the YSL bronzer today for contouring wise to just warm up my face a little bit i don't know how to pronounce this name but i will list the name of this below but i love the sponsor it's a great one and for the highlighter i decided to also pick up the divine rose skin fetish ultra glow highlighter i don't have 
her other um, highlighter. I think it's sold out. But I really love this highlighter. It's just... I initially really didn't think that I would like pinky highlighters, but clearly this is changing my mind. So um, I will pick this up if you guys are into pinky highlighters, but even if you're not, you won't be disappointed with this highlighter at all. It is just so, so gorgeous. So for my lips today, I went in with her matte um, liquid lipsticks in Divine Nude first, and then I kind of, on the outer corners, I went in with Divine Rose just to deepen out my corners a little bit, and I really love the feel of these liquid lipsticks it is very comfortable it almost reminds me of like Kat Von D's formula in a way it's kind of like light and moussey but yet you don't feel anything on your lips it's just so so comfortable and um, it's not it's nothing like Kylie's liquid lipsticks if you guys know what I mean or the Colourpop ones these are like really comfortable on the lips so I would recommend it. I will be checking out more of her um, liquid lipsticks in the future but I love both of these and I love the shade selection as well. It is just a gorgeous kind of nudie pink colors. It's just my comfort zone. I love love these. Anyway so this is the gist of all of the Pat McGrath makeup products that I had a chance to try out today and I am happy with every single one of them. So I hope this video was somewhat useful for some of you guys out there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.